position, you have a cluster of gear sets that do all the work. You have the input shaft, which is connected to the splines of the clutch disc, which is being turned by the motor's power. Then you have the output shaft, and on both shafts you have a set of gears. These selectors are your shift forks, which is connected to a mechanism inside the transmission which controls the movement of these gears, which gives you the correct gear selection that you, you can see the, the So this shifting. is the actual shifter linkage, they call it. On a, on a Honda and a lot of other cars, it is a rod, stationary. That hole lines up with this hole and keeps them stationary together. This hole will bolt up to that hole, keeping the shifter linkage stationary, allowing you to just move the shifter lever. If you were to put it in first, you got the synchro above and the synchro below. If you were to go in one direction, the synchro would line up the gears and select, let's say, first gear. Then you were to move it down while the motor is spinning, the synchro would line up the bottom and put it in second gear. When you disengage it, then you got third and fourth. Fourth is up, third is down. Fifth gear is up, this is reverse. Basically, once you've selected the gear, then it goes in through the differential, and the differential is your final drive. The output shaft right here spins the differential. The differential is actually splined inside. This axle is put inside the differential and locks up through the splines, and is connected to the wheel, which is also splined with a nut. It goes through the knuckle of the wheel of the car and bolts it up stationary so that when the differential moves the output shaft, the output shaft is directly connected to the wheel and it spins the wheel forward. So basically when it's all working and you're in gear, the input shaft is moving, the output shaft which in turn drives the differential. And this is what it looks like when it's all moving. And that's how a manual transmission works.